Welcome to a Nonsense Wars production on my GBC Extensible Tower version 2.1. This started as the lift mechanism for my auto dozer module, but I'm finally turning it into an official design with instructions since the fixes I've had to make to the vertical stepper have made it less extensible. Uh, partly counter to the entire point. The first extensible tower was one of my earliest GBC modules, and it had this bulky adjustable crank system that proved largely unnecessary. A simple cam and counterweight drivetrain drove the auto dozer lift. This mechanism has proven quite reliable, and I've carried it over to the standalone version with very little change. I mostly changed some of the supporting structure in order to accommodate an M motor and to try and fit my shared power standard. I also removed the Azure Lane theming for the instructions, but the video shows a bit of an in-between flavor. I kept the 1 to 5 gearing, which makes it a fairly quick module, mainly in order to try to not overwhelm the single stepper agitator feeder. The windows add a bit of cost and complexity to the module, but I've kept them through all the versions such that observers can see inside. They aren't strictly necessary for the module to function. True to the original concept, you could theoretically build almost everything entirely out of basic bricks, though I would recommend using new bricks for the tower and the core, as small imperfections in the bricks can make the stepping motion sticky. It will nonetheless smooth itself out if you run it long enough. Still, despite having shared power compatibility, the tower doesn't necessarily work well at the head or in the middle of a shared power setup. The high output means that balls can easily overshoot or escape following input bins, so it works better at an end feeding into a ramp. Uh, perhaps I have an opportunity to make some kind of shared power energy dissipation thing, and that kind of ties nicely into this next part. Since I changed the interface of the tower, I took the opportunity to revise the auto dozer module on the whole as well. I don't run the auto dozer much, not because of unreliability, but because of the large size and fiddly setup. Previously, only the end sections supported the center platform, and joining those and the drive shaft at the same time proved less than ideal. The new platform has permanent supports and end interfaces resembling shared power. The two steppers input and output used to surge a bit in the old setup, uh, probably due to uneven loading and slop in the long drivetrain. I try to mitigate this by moving the motor and gearbox down into the base and closer to those elements. The gear ratios remain the same. This makes the drivetrain to the dozer longer, but since the load on the dozer should be more consistent than the load on the steppers, the effect of additional drivetrain slop is negligible. Ultimately, these changes should streamline the setup of the module and allow for some flexibility. I can theoretically use the dozer and platform with different lifts and the output stepper as a derpy standalone, though this starts going into the realm of modular modules, which may perhaps be a topic for future videos. 
I can even run other shared power modules off the dozer as both ends comply with the standard, though it almost certainly won't work in reverse. Finally, I found a noticeable amount of wear on some of the drivetrain axles, even though I did not run this module a lot. Uh, most of the dust came from the high-speed, low-torque shafts that carry power to the dozer, suggesting that this kind of setup might not be great for longevity. On that note, I will probably make instructions for this in the future, but until then, have a nice day.